Welcome guys to another video. This time we're gonna talk about UVs, but this time we're gonna talk about unwrapping and how you can go about making UVs for your mesh inside Unreal. So let's get started. Quick pause. This video is sponsored by myself. So if you want to learn more about Unreal Engine 5, make sure to check our website where you can get free high quality courses there for you. Also, you can step up your game by checking our on-demand courses where you can learn different skills in game development. And if you're a serious game developer, make sure to check our UNF game development program where you can learn to create a game from scratch and publish it to Steam. Now let's go back to the video. I have a basic mesh that I model and I have some UVs already laid out that they don't look really nice. I have this part that is a little bit sharp and this part that is composed of multiple faces that I feel like should be one island and the rest, it should have its own separate island. So for making UVs, you need to understand that the more islands you have, the more distortion you will have. And typically you will want to find islands that are not really 90 degrees. So for example, this face here at the left, and then this area here, it's, it's, it's a very sharp angle. So you don't really want to unwrap there. So in order to unwrap, we need to go to modeling. And first you need to understand the concept of polygroups because polygroups are extremely useful tool inside Unreal Engine 5 and it will allow you to create UVs more efficiently and faster. It will save you a lot of time. So if you go to model, you will see that you have polygroup edit. And if you go here, you will see that my mesh is, is composed of different polygroups here, 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 you have here and the rest of the faces are just its own separate polygroup. So what do you do here? You need to understand that you need to group the islands that you want inside the editor so you can have your UVs. So for example, I can go to mesh, go to triangle select, and I can start painting here, which areas I want to have my island. Instead of using brush, I'm gonna use by UV island. So I can easily just click here I can have my island and then I can just go to create polygroup. That's great. There's another area that I want a polygroup here, which is this. I want this to be a one island. So the less seams I have, the better it will look like. This one is not 90 degrees, it's more like, more like 40 degrees angle. So I feel that, like this area can fit really well into an island. Create polygroup, accept. And now what you have here is your mesh, but now you have different polygroups. You have one polygroup here, one polygroup here, and the rest, it's its own polygroup. So what do you do from here? Well, you need to go to UVs and you can go to UV editor so you can have more control. And what you can have here, it's essentially uh, your mesh, uh, for some reason, like we got the, the texture streaming pool. Let me see if I can remember like texture streaming pool size, streaming pool size. There you go. Like 3,000, uh, 10,000. Okay, there we go. So what you can do here is you can go to this part and start selecting. And you will see that I have an option here to select uh, islands. So if I press four and I click, you will see that I'm selecting everything here. I can just shift click and I'm selecting all the islands. And what you can do is to hit unwrap. And just like that, you have unwrapped your mesh in a way that it's only the, with the, U, uh, with the polygroups. Now, nothing is connected here because island generation is by existing UVs. We want polygroups. And as soon as we do that, all our islands here are now connected. Look at that. You can accept and you can just move it to another position. You can now go here and start selecting different islands by pressing four here. And now you can go to unwrap and you can select 
Uh, you, you can see that I'm, I'm wrapping my mesh very easily here. Click accept, move it, and the rest, uh, it will really just depend on what you need. I can just unwrap this area. I can actually select everything and just click unwrap. And now I can just decide, you know what, this part, I'm going to make it bigger. This part, I'm going to make it smaller. What I like to do is to select everything and go to, uh, let's go to layout. And I can pack this. And I can decide how I want to pack, repack. I can just leave the default values like that. I don't really want to preserve the scale. If, if you want, you can do that. But for me, like this works. So everything is nicely laid down. I can go here and select everything and scale this by using this gizmo. So I can change the UVs if I want it. And I can even connect the UVs if you want, like, for example, like this, this area here, I can connect uh, with this one as well. Uh, I can do that. I did that in another video. Uh, I, will, I will put a link somewhere where you can find the basics of unwrapping. And with that, you can just hit apply. And there you go. Your mesh has been unwrapped. And you don't have any kind of like, uh, you know, ugly UBs or whatever. Uh, when you see this area, you know what? I don't like this part. I can just click here with four. And I can just rotate it. Let me see if I have my... Oh, I have my snapping rotation. Let's go for snapping at five degrees. And I can start rotating. Something like that. And let's see, this is something I like. Click apply. And now I have my UVs. And that's how you can lay out UVs inside Unreal pretty easily. It's all about the polygroups. It's all about using the modeling tools and the UV editor. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you like it, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to watch more videos about Unreal Engine 5. And with that, I will see you in the next one.